So I'm here with the gorgeous Gamu. How are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Tell me all about the new single. Well, the new single is basically just a culmination of all the artists that have inspired uh, me in the album. Um, so just paying homage, really, saying thank you to all of them. Um, and it's basically just in a song about taking all the modern stuff out, bringing all the old school in, and having like just a really good old school party, really. Forget the radio, I got my gramophone, so bring your Marvin, Aretha, James Brown. The old school, the Motown era definitely inspires me in general, really. I grew up listening um, to it. You know, my mom just kind of abused this Tina Turner cassette when we, when I, when I was growing up, and that's all she ever played. So we just tried to put it all in together. That's why we call it New Vintage, because mm -hmm. we've taken a lot from the old school, but still, like, have modern influences. So ladies, Go to X Factor, mm. obviously. I mean, you, you kind of took the nation, if not world, by storm. It, it was such a massive story. How was that time for you? Um, it was it was very, very interesting. I'm, I was very, very naive. That's kind of the first time that I'd ever been kind of exposed to anything close to the music industry. Mm. Um, so I just kind of went into it green, really, not knowing what I was getting into. I learned a lot. I like to call it my crash course in mm. the music industry. I mean, it was just such a short space of, space of, space of time. It was just three months. Yeah. But I feel like I learned so much. Um, and I just came out of it. And I've, now I have this opportunity to release an album. And I'm really excited. And obviously, for a lot of people, the temptation would have been to up sticks and move to London. But, but yeah. you've stayed in Scotland, haven't you? Do you think that was important yeah. to you to, to stay grounded and stay here? Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. I just, I didn't want... I was I was still learning who I was mm -hmm. as a person, let alone as an artist, let alone learning that in the public eye, you know, and being away from my family, being away from my friends, everything that I've known to be just norm normalcy. I, I just I didn't want to let that go because I just wanted to grow within being normal. Mm -hmm. Because if you do it when you're in the public eye, it's very very easy to be led astray, yeah. um, to be told, you know, this is actually how you should do it. But then if you've got people who are grounded and they go, you know, I don't care. And my mom would just go, I don't care if that's what happens in the industry. You're my daughter, you do it this way. Yeah. You know, so, and I, and I needed that. I needed to be kept straight. Not that I'd, I feel like I would have gone astray or anything, mm -hmm. but I just didn't want to take any chances. I was too young. I was too new to the industry. So it was very important to stay at home. And nice to be finally getting your music out there. Yes, definitely, definitely. It's it's um, it's been a long time coming, I think, and I'm and I'm very nervous, but I'm I'm very excited just to see how everybody reacts to it. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Well, from hearing you in the studio today, it was a real pleasure. Honestly, oh, it was fantastic. So, so can't wait to hear much more and hopefully catch you live. Thank yeah, thanks a lot. So, ladies, you can tell by the shaking, not a day. Boom, boom, that you're shaking around. Oh!